Good morning, this is Morris. Good morning, Morris. Good morning, this is Ron Pridgen. Hi, Ron, this is Ann Crow. I was just calling into Agenda. Um, there's an ACA case on there. Okay. I think we've got some other people on, but muted, but. Yeah, this is Morris, I'm on. Hey, Morris. And this is John Clark. Hi, this is Ryan. I'm back. I'm here. Maida Coleman is here. Good morning. Good morning, Maida. Roop's here. All right. Good morning. You doing well? I am. How about you and your family? Pretty good. Thank you. Good morning, commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. Paul Graham speaking.
Well, we just have seven today that all seem to be pretty straightforward, so hopefully it goes fairly quick. Okay. Jenny, sir. Good morning, Commissioner Kenny. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman. I think we're still waiting on Commissioner Holzman, but uh, if he gets on, we'll go right at 10 o'clock. I was the first one on, my man. Well, there you go. Then we will go right at 10 o'clock. You hadn't said anything since we've, uh, since we've been on. I, I actually had, I probably, you probably just talked the same time I did. Or something. Is Judge DePel on? I am. Ready? Did you hear me? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I sure did. Okay. I have a new audio set up here at home, so I'm going on mute. Okay, it is now 10 o'clock, so we can go ahead and proceed. I believe all commissioners are on the phone. Um, due, to the, uh, due, due to the COVID-19 uh, uh, continuing situation, um, the governor's office building uh, is still closed, as are all state office buildings under the governor's directive. Um, so the commission will be conducting agendas via WebEx conferencing for the foreseeable future. Um, we are still live streaming the agendas, so welcome to those uh, that happen to be live streaming. You are looking at a copy of today's agenda uh, rather than our usual agenda room video feed. Um, I would ask that those that are participating on the call, please mute your phones um, unless you need to speak, and that will cut down on feedback and background noise. 
Um, okay, so first up, um, we have to approve the agenda minutes from March 25th, 2020. Um, you all have seen those. Are there any additions or corrections? Uh, hearing none, um, all, none. Um, all those in favor of approving the agenda minutes from March 25th, 2020, say aye. 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 The minutes are approved five to zero. Uh, we have six tariffs and new orders today. I misspoke and said seven before the call started, but we have six. Um, so we'll start off with file number WA 2019-018-5. This is in the matter of the application of Osage Utility Operating Company, Inc. to acquire certain water and sewer assets and for a certificate of convenience and necessity. Uh, this commission previously conducted an evidentiary hearing in this case, and uh, this order grants the application of Osage Utility Operating Company to acquire the struggling Osage, Osage systems, uh, which have been in receivership for over a decade. Um, initially, receivership was requested in 2002. It was finally put in receivership in 2005 and has been in bankruptcy court uh, for years since then. Um, this report and order does deny the request for an acquisition premium, which I think is appropriate. Since it, is, since it isn't in the public's interest. Uh, the acquisition premium is intended to help motivate buyers of struggling systems that may not purchase a system without the incentive uh, of an acquisition premium. And that clearly isn't the case here. Um, there were at least two other qualified providers who placed bids with the bankruptcy court and agreed to step in and purchase the systems uh, if, if the grant of the authority to do so. Um, so um, as mentioned back during the discussion, um, I, I think I was the only dissenting position um, on this order. Um, I will be dissenting again today. Um, I think that um, that in the ag processing case, the Missouri Supreme Court said that the commission is to um, look, uh, take into account all relevant factors and, um, and, um, and when deciding what is not detrimental to the public interest, um, the fact that there were some other proposals to be considered um, is something that, that I feel um, that we should have done. Um, you know, the commission is, is primarily supposed to be a substitution for competition. Um, and when you have a situation where the customer is actually being served, um, come up with their own proposal, put, put together an alternative proposal, I think that that, that should be considered. Um, but recognizing that I, I was the only dissent there, um, I'm going to offer version four today. Um, before we go around to the other commissioners, um, Judge DePel, I believe you have an issue on page 37 that you wanted to address with an oral amendment. Um, yes, there's a deletion of the uh, Latin thick on page 37 as well as in earlier on the conclusions of law number I, letter I. I just want to delete that so as not to cause confusion. So what we will be uh, voting on is version four as amended um, with those oral deletions just, uh, just mentioned by Judge DePel. Um, Commissioner Kenney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I do support the order. <clears throat> and um, I think that uh, Osage Waters demonstrated the ability to purchase a system and, a run and operate system. But I might notice that they were the only one interested in the system um, prior to uh, the uh, bank bankruptcy court's decisions. I might also note during the hearing that although the um, joint bidders had obtained some credit, they still had not raised the several hundred thousand dollars necessary to get that loan. Um, that being said, I do support that. I do not support um, the company receiving an acquisition premium because I think obviously as you stated, there are others that are interested in purchasing the system, um, but I do support the order. We've uh, dealt with this for, for quite a while now and it's uh, finally being concluded. Thank you. Okay. Commissioner Roop? Yeah, I, I echo what Commissioner Kennedy, sa uh, Kennedy said. Uh, I think 
Central States has a record of being able to rehabilitate struggling water and sewer systems on num numerous occasions, um, uh, but I also agree that the acquisition premiums should be denied, so I am in support of the order. Commissioner Coleman? I am in agreement with the comments made by the two previous commissioners. I support the order. Thank you. Commissioner Holzman? Yeah. All right. Um, all those in favor of approving the order? I'm sorry? Okay. Um, all those in favor of approving the orders uh, as amended, version four, say aye. 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 And all those opposed, no. No. Um, so the order is approved four to one. Next up, file number WO2020-0249. <clears throat> In the matter of the application of City of Union, Missouri and Public Water Supply District number one. Uh, if I could remind callers to please mute as well. I think we're getting some feedback. You told the story. Okay. We're getting some background noise from someone. There we go. Thank you. Um, this is a, the City of Union, Missouri and Public Water Supply District number one of Franklin County, Missouri for the approval of second addendum to the territorial agreement concerning territory in Franklin County, Missouri. Uh, the City of Union, Missouri and Public Water Supply District number one of Franklin County uh, requested approval to amend their territorial agreement. Under the second addendum, Union will provide water service to a currently uh, undeveloped portion of land that's within the water supply that's within the water supply district service territory. Staff reviewed the application and recommended that we uh, that, that would be that would be considered the second addendum to the territorial agreement and uh, recommended that it be approved. Uh, public council did not object to the request, and no other person intervened in this matter. Um, I think this is an agreement that is in the public interest, and I do support this order granting the request. So um, I, I recommend that we support the order as drafted version three. Commissioner Kenny. Uh, thank you. I do support the order. It's in the best interest of all parties. Okay. Commissioner Root. I am in support of the order. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version three say aye. 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 The aye. Orders the order is now approved five to zero. Uh, next up, file number GR 2019-0120. This is in the matter of Spire Missouri Inc., DBA Missouri Inc., a Spire West annual PGA filing. Uh, this order establishes Spire West's actual cost adjustment account balances for the 2017 to 20 cost adjustment account balances for the 2017 to 2018 period. Staff reviewed uh, information submitted by the company and evaluated if the amounts billed compared to actual gas costs needed to be adjusted uh, to avoid an over or under recovery. Staff recommended an amount uh, that Spire's ACA, ACA balance be set and uh, no party uh, opposed staff's recommendation. So I recommend that we support the orders drafted version one. Commissioner Kinney? I am in support. Commissioner Root? I am in support as well. Commissioner Coleman? I'm in support. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one say aye. 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 The order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number WM2020-0156. This is in the matter of the joint application of Liberty Utilities, uh, Missouri Water LLC, DBA Liberty Utilities, and the Empire District Electric Company for authority for Liberty Utilities, Missouri Water, LLC, DBA, Liberty Utilities to acquire the, acquire the water franchises and assets of the Empire District and assets of the Empire District Electric Company. Liberty Utilities, Missouri Water, and uh, Empire filed a joint application requesting authority for Empire to sell and transfer its water utility assets to Liberty. Uh, both Liberty and Empire are subsidiaries of Liberty Utilities Company. The water system in question currently serves about 4,400 customers in Lawrence County. Uh, staff filed a recommendation to approve the application subject to certain conditions. Uh, one, some of staff's recommended conditions uh, were that Liberty continue to use Empire's existing water tariffs and rates until it comes in for a rate case. Uh, two, that Empire's existing uh, depreciation rate uh, apply to the assets after the transfer. And three, that the commissioner may uh, the commission make no finding that would prevent the commission from considering rate making treatment in a future proceeding. 
No other responses were received, so this order grants Empire's request to transfer the water system assets to Liberty, and it also grants Liberty a CCN to provide water service. And I recommend that we approve the orders drafted version three. Commissioner Kenny. I support the order. Commissioner Root. I'm in support. Commissioner Hol uh, Coleman. I support the order. Thank you, Commissioner Holzman. Support the order. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version three, say aye. Say aye. 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 The order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number ER 2019-0374. This is in the matter of Empire District Electric Company's request for authority to file tariffs increasing rates for electric service provided to customers in its Missouri service ter territory. Um, so obviously we're all experiencing disruptions uh, due to COVID-19. Uh, currently we have an evidentiary hearing set to start next Tuesday in Empire's rate case. Staff on behalf of the parties has submitted a request to cancel that hearing uh, with the parties agreeing to waive cross-examination and allow the commission to decide the issues on the record. So this order suspends the existing hearing schedule and adopts a revised procedural schedule. It also delegates to the judge the ability to issue, issue additional orders concerning the procedural schedule if necessary. Um, I, now, I will point out that due to the closure of the Missouri uh, government buildings, um, if we do need to conduct any portion of a hearing, any portion of a hearing, including any offer of evidence, um, it will be through an internet meeting, uh, either Zoom or WebEx, uh, and the audible portion of the hearing should still be streamed and accessible through the commission's website. Um, so with that, I recommend that we support the orders drafted version three. Commissioner Kenny. Uh, um, I, uh, I, I do support the order. It's obviously highly unusual to suspend a hearing, to suspend a hearing of uh, universal approval or uh, agreement. But I would like to uh, um, thank uh, the staff, OPC, the company, and those parties for realizing that we're in a very difficult time. So um, I support the order. Absolutely. Commissioner Roop. I am in support of the order. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. All right. All those in favor of approving the order as drafted version three say aye. 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 The order is approved five to zero. And our final uh, report and order for today is file number WR 2020-0053. Uh, this is in the matter of Confluence Rivers Utility Operating Company, Inc.'s request for a water rate increase. Um, now, a final order uh, of the day approves a unanimous disposition agreement uh, reached by Confluence staff and the public council. Now, under the terms of the agreement, through the Commission's small uh, assisted rate case procedures, Confluence will consolidate its nine water and nine sewer systems um, and an annual revenue increase is set with a single rate being set for the water rates as well as the sewer rates. Um, so this order approves that unanimous agreement. Now, due to the impact of COVID-19, the commission uh, requested the company consider pushing back the effective date of the tariff sheets from April 12th. Um, Confluence has offered to delay implementation of the new tariffs until July 1st. Um, I think that, uh, that that is a good... Um, a good position and, and concession by the company to do so during these uncertain times. And I, I want to commend the company uh, for doing that. So these rates uh, for this unanimous disposition will be approved today, but will not go into effect until July 1st. Um, so this order approves the unanimous disposition agreement uh, and approves the tariff sheets um, again to go in effect July 1st. So I recommend that we approve the orders drafted version two. Commissioner Kenny. Uh, I uh, echo your comments, Mr. Chairman, and um, I would applaud the company and, and the intervene or those intervening staff and OPC uh, coming up with a single rate for their system. I think that helps some of our really struggling systems. I know it's an increase of almost 200% for water or a little 200% for water and 180% for sewer, but um, I think it's necessary and uh, I support the order. Thank you, Commissioner Root. <laughs> Yeah, overall, I, 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 in general, am, am in supportive of the outcome of, of, the, of the stipulation. However, I don't like how we get there. And this is, again, another one of these black box settlements. 
um, and I don't think the information was provided to the commission uh, on, on how we got there. Um, you know, we had asked that, uh, you know, some of that information be, be filed uh, and, and provided to the commission. Um, as of this morning, we checked uh, nothing, nothing to support that had been filed. Um, uh, it, it, to me, this is just another unsupported black box settlement, which I've continued to have difficulty with over the last couple of, couple of years, and it's growing. I also believe the staff's interpretation of subsection eight, that the preliminary report is confidential, is an incorrect, uh, incorrect uh, view. Um, and I think that should be provided to the commission upon request, even if it, it even if it is preliminary, if the commission requests it. Um, you know, and I know, and I don't believe that this should using this to be uh, public or or confidential uh, should be in settlement discussions. Because uh, just wanted to remind that the small water and sewer uh, rules we have, you know, those aren't a right. Those are those are a privilege that we 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 established to help small systems. And if they don't want some of this stuff being, you know, public or or, or what have you, they can go and file a regular rate case and try to have it HC. Um, are highly confidential. Um, so overall, I would have been supporting of this uh, decision because of the outcome, but the way we got there and the uh, the un, the inability to provide us with the information that we require and how they got there is going to have me vote to vote no on the order. Thank you, Commissioner. I, I would echo your comments, particularly as it relates to the staff report. Um, I also was disappointed in how that was handled. Um, Commissioner Coleman? I'm in support of the order, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Commissioner Holzman? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have similar sentiments to Commissioner Root, with the exception of my end result. I'll be supporting the order today, but I also would like to say that uh, the black box needs to be used in uh, more of a rare circumstance than becoming a, uh, a, a more routine part of um, these proceedings. So uh, I'm going to support the order, but I also would like to say that the black box should be more rare. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. All right. All those in favor of approving the order's drafted version to say aye. 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 All those opposed? No. All right. The order is approved four to one. Um, that concludes our reports and orders today. Um, we are going to look at scheduling. We have no other discussion uh, for today other than scheduling. So looking out uh, Wednesday, April 15th, we have agenda scheduled at 10 a.m. Um, Friday, April 17th, we tentatively have uh, an offer of evidence uh, scheduled for ER 2019-0374. Um, that's Empire's general rate case that we had the order on today. Um, the offer of evidence is tentatively scheduled for 9 a.m. in room 310 with Judge Clark. But as we mentioned, um, the commission suspended the evidentiary hearing. Um, this is simply set as an offer of evidence. And if it does happen, um, it will be via WebEx or Zoom um, since the governor's uh, thing extends beyond April 17th. So that is a tentative uh, thing on the schedule if needed. Um, Wednesday, April 22nd, agenda is scheduled at 10 a.m. Uh, Monday, April 27th through Tuesday, April 28th, there's an evidentiary hearing scheduled in GEO 2020-0229 and GEO 2020-0230. This is Spire's ISRIS request. Um, that's currently scheduled for 9 a.m. with Judge Graham. Um, now, again, depending on whether the state government building uh, closure order is extended or not, uh, this hearing may also be conducted uh, through web meeting um, and, and uh, webcast. Um, Wednesday, April 29th, agenda at 10 a.m. Wednesday, May 6th, agenda at 10 a.m. And Wednesday, May 13th, agenda at 10 a.m. Um, are there any questions, uh, comments, or requests regarding scheduling through May 13th? Okay, hearing none, um, that concludes the business uh, that we have before us today. So um, if there's no further business coming before the body, we are adjourned. Thank you, Thank Commissioner. You, Mr. Chairman. Yep. Thank you.